Hello and welcome back to the Pedro Gaming Network for another episode of whatever this is. I've had a bit of a weird idea. I was going to do a let's play of Spore, which if you don't know is basically like a evolution the map where you design your own creature and sort of guide it through life from a single celled little creature in the ocean to eventually like an intergalactic empire, which is quite an interesting topic for a game to cover I guess, but I've had a better idea. I think that what we should try and do is go just into the creator mode and just see how many different sort of paleo creatures we can build. Just probably from memory I think is probably the funniest way to do it. Now my thinking is, is that if you look online for people who have made prehistoric creatures in Spore in the past, they often use mods that let them basically do whatever they want and the end results end up being quite weird to look at, but very detailed. Let's see if me and my sort of, you know, pretty solid understanding of paleobiology and anatomy can just make different paleo creatures without even thinking about it, just not consulting anything, just from memory. I've written a list of just random creatures, and I'm gonna like, just spin through them and just randomly select one and see how we get on. And the first creature that I have chosen to make is a Tully monster, so let's try and do that. Um, first of all, let's get ourselves a bit of base to start this off with. Oh, that's already looking pretty Tully monster-esque. So the Tully monster is basically uh, how do I do this? Let's just grab its its vertebra. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, I'll explain that in a second. So uh, the Tully monster is the state fossil of Illinois, I believe, which is where they're found in the Maison Creek. Fossil beds, they have quite a little sausagey body, I think, but then they have. I can't remember what the tails look like. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> um, and they're very, very, very unusual. The reason why I was freaking out about the fact that they had a vertebra is that paleontologists aren't even 100% sure either way. There's conflicting the arguments. I'm not going to get into it over whether or not it's even a vertebra or an invertebra or not. It's ridiculous. It's really interesting. Now, that's obviously not correct at all, but. I believe it's it's getting there already. Look at it, it's perfect. Take that hand off. And then on the end, it's kind of a weird pincer, like snippy snappy thing. That could maybe do it. That's more like a little T-Rex hand, isn't it? Um, oh, I bet it's in the mouths. That looks kind of like it, a little mandible. Oh, oh, there it is. That's our boy. Perfect. Can we, there we go. Can we rotate it? I'm pretty sure it's more snip snap up and down than sidey sidey. These are all very technical um, paleoanatomical terms as you can see. Let's lift that, whoop whoop, no, no. We want this bit here. No. There we go. What bit more? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty proud of that. The eyes are even weirder. These things I guess are gonna do us. <laughs> oh yes. So it's got these weird little eye stalks that are often depicted as kind of coming out from the side. You can kind of turn, there we go. Can we make them longer? Oh, there it is. That is gorgeous. Okay, I can't remember what its tail looks like. I believe it's it's often reconstructed with sort of fins. I'm being very careful about my wording here because I don't want to upset either side. Uh, what's sort of fin-like? That could do us. A little bit of that on there. Yeah. Oh, that kind of, it's getting there, slowly but surely. Yeah. We went flat, but then bigger. One of my favorite things about sport I'm looking forward to is how it just knows how things move. I'm looking forward to that. The final little feature, which I often see it depicted with, are these small sort of it's on its body. That's pretty good. I feel like I must be missing something, but I'm pretty proud of that. Let's color it in. I think they're often made to look green. Ooh, those little pits don't. Oh god, their eyes didn't even realize. Oh, that's fine. It'll be fine. This is a little tricky for your humble host because I am pretty colorblind. Do you know what? I'm just gonna leave it at that. That looks fine. Let's go. And begin! That's right, isn't it? That's that's how they move, yeah? Well, that's just marvellous. Look at it go. All right, I'm gonna look at a picture of a Tully monster and see how well I did. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. I am very proud of myself. 
I got the I got the tail a little bit wrong. This should be a bit longer, but apart from that, I'm I'm gonna call this a success. Totally monster description. A freaky little boy. All right, done. All right, let's go for a micro raptor. That could be quite fun. Uh, so this is one of the feathered dinosaurs, which. Uh, have been discovered in China, and they're really, really cool. I'm very lucky to have actually seen them in person. They've died uh, clearly in a volcanic eruption. They've been very gently buried by soft volcanic ash, and so as a result, we've got these beautiful fossils of them, uh, of their feathers, and they've got feathers on both their arms and legs. They kind of have full wings, which is quite, quite cool. That is awful. All right, this is going to be the hardest bit: is finding which head to use because it does have, again, very bird-like features. But it also has little teeth. None of these are really jumping out to me. See that one, we could potentially morph this one. Nope, I thought that would flatten it. It just gives it a massive underbite. Well, that's kind of looking... Mm, we'll come back to that. I'll, I'll leave it over here for now. Oh, should we try this one? I think... Ooh! That's... Get out of here. That looks kind of right, I think. Um, uh, okay, this is going to be fiddly. Ah, oh, look at it go. Let's see what it looks like. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go for this one. Oh, jeez. Now, these are going to be stylized, okay? They're not going to be exactly right. I did say that at the start, didn't I? I definitely didn't talk about anatomical knowledge and things. It's getting there. It's getting there, it's getting there, it's getting there, it's getting there. There we go. Did I ever tell you I don't actually work in dinosaurs? <laughs> that is as small as we can get them. So either we make the whole thing huge to compensate for it, but I feel like it just should be little. That's kind of the whole ethos of them. Now this is the important part. Actually, to be honest, it's already done a pretty good job. This is literally, this, this is wrong. They would break their wrists if they did that. Never draw your dinosaurs like that. If you want to do a good dinosaur drawing or a good dinosaur impression, you have to have your palm, your palms going to be facing each other. Like, oh, nope, that's it. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. It's all gone wrong. Okay, so you can't rotate the hands, but that's, that's more or less right. <laughs> okay, now the fun bit, the feathers. Is that the only feather? Oh, no. What the hell's that? Ew. That's foul. God, I can just hear all my like paleo artist friends like hearts dying. That's just so wrong. Is that really the best you can do in this? Oh, don't worry, this isn't permanent by the way. That is gonna go. Wait, I can I make them little? All right, how about if the game will allow us, can we basically just put like a million wings on it? I'm gonna do the classic thing that I always complain about where people We'll try to put feathers on the dinosaurs and then just stick them on the arms. No, I can't afford any more feathers. This is, no. Like how is it even supposed to fly like this? I wanted to give it proper wings and everything. I've not even put feathers on the tail yet. I think doing this while being a paleontologist, it's like, it's like having the wisdom to know that what I'm doing is completely wrong but then combined with my lack of intelligence to know that I need to stop. I think for the sake of my own career, <laughs> I better stop messing with this before I completely humiliate myself. All right, I think I'm gonna attempt to make a Megalosaurus. Okay, but I've had a really good idea. I'm gonna try and do the Crystal Palace version. So Megalosaurus was like one of the first dinosaurs found that classified as a dinosaur. I believe it is the first, in fact, by um, uh, Richard Owen in the 1800s. And in the, early, in the early 1800s, it was sort of felt that dinosaurs weren't these agile bird-like creatures that we know of today after like the dinosaur renaissance fossils like Deinonychus tell us these things. But instead, they were these huge lethargic lizards. That was kind of the mindset at this time. And you can see this in some of the early reconstructions of them. It's quite hilarious. And probably one of the most famous examples is in the Crystal Palace in London. There's huge statues of the dinosaurs that must always stay inaccurate because it's now a protected heritage site. I've always wanted to go and actually see them in person. Um, I was meant to go last year, annoyingly. All right, that's looking pretty good and chunky. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what the feet look like. I actually always wanted to see that. If I was making a Jurassic World movie, 
I would have like different eras of accuracy around the park and then I would have the Crystal Palace exhibit that would just be these horrible pug-like dinosaurs struggling to breathe like <laughs> these horrible beasts and it would just get shut down people would, people wouldn't people wouldn't visit it I don't think I think the thing that's going to make or break this is I can, if I can find the mouth for it it's a very distinctive mouth which interestingly enough was um it was vandalized not too long ago and has only just been rebuilt uh it's a very toothy, it's very... It's not that one. Oh, God. I could see where your heart was there, Jake, but no, unfortunately not. This is pretty fun, though, because this time I can be deliberately scientifically inaccurate. It's still not quite right, though. I feel like I'm missing something really obvious. I think it has feet like this, like big bear-like fingers with like big claws, I think. Um, but the body is so off. I, I'm, yeah. The dumbest thing. I was saying I need to, you know, forget everything I know about anatomy. The tail is dragging on the floor. Of course it is. Why did I not think of that? There we go. Tail dragging action. Oh my god, it looks instantly so much better. All right, let's fix the face now. Doesn't it also have like a bit of a, a hump to its back? I feel like it's more sort of off balance, if that makes sense. Okay, extend that, bring that down, and then down, and then down, and then up. <laughs> That's what it sounds like in a sec. Hold on. Uh, I don't think we can... Like, I think that's the best we can do with the mouth. And then it's got quite evil eyes from memory. And I think it should be quite easy to make it look like the statue. We've got like a scaly texture in grey. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, now I've added... Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty pleased with that. There you go. <laughs> Look at it go! Well, that was a lot of fun. I think it opens the door to do this again. And if you want to see me or any of the other hosts uh, try to do this again, let us know. Maybe put some suggestions of some creatures we should try to build in the comments. That could be that could be a bit of a laugh. Preferably something that isn't a dinosaur. I think would be best. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Assuming that I'm not fired when everyone I know sees this video.